Hello and welcome to this new video with me Coach Reese. I hope you're all doing really well. So in today's video we're going to talk a little bit about the modern goalkeeper and how the role has changed and some of the things that are involved now and some of the expectations around the modern goalkeeper. As always I will leave timestamps and chapters below. Let's get started. So the role of the goalkeeper has evolved into much more of a complete role. We're not just seeing goalkeepers who are excellent shot stoppers. There's now the expectation that goalkeepers can almost be used as extra outfield players. So this has put a huge technical demand on goalkeepers. They not only need to be excellent shot stoppers, but they need to be proficient with the ball at their feet. So let's think about the goalkeeper during build-up. The goalkeeper will begin the majority of the team's attacks and with this we've often talked about the diamond that we see created between the goalkeeper, two centre-backs and one of the central midfielders. And within this diamond the goalkeeper is the pivot and the goalkeeper will determine which side the team begin their attack. Now this may be something that's predetermined by the team before the game or the advantage that the goalkeeper has is that the entire game is in front of them so they may make an observation during the game that impacts the decision to play either to the left or to the right but in an ideal world we'd like to see the goalkeeper try and penetrate that initial opposition pressing line so that we'd like to see them try and play into that central midfield player when we're thinking about a team playing out from the back we can think about one of the reasons being is we're playing short passes in a specific area in order to free up space in a different area of the pitch in order to find what we call the free man. And the free man is a player who, once they receive the ball, they can begin to progress the ball forward and increase the team's attacking potential. The goalkeeper plays a huge role in this. Because they're going to be the deepest player, they will always be the team's pivot. So for example, the team may choose to initially build out to the left hand side and they may play short passes in the left side. This will draw the opposition towards this area and release a free man who potentially could be on the right hand side. So it might be our right back who can take us beyond pressure. So an example that we might see is we might see the ball be played to a goalkeeper who can then play out to the right side to take the team beyond pressure. As the team begin to progress, a common trend that we're seeing is we're seeing teams move into a back three. The most common way that we see this back three formed is to see a midfield player drop between the two centre backs. But as the role of the goalkeeper is continuing to develop, we're now seeing the goalkeeper move between the two centre backs to create that back three. By moving the goalkeeper into the back three, it can be really advantageous for the team because we should now have a free player. If you think about it on a large scale, it's now 11 v 10. So the team should always have a free player who can be used to progress the ball forward. As the team moves the goalkeeper into the back three, there is always going to be an element of risk. We're moving the goalkeeper away from their primary responsibility, which is the goal. So any mistake in this area has the potential to be rather costly. As the technical level of goalkeepers increase, we're now seeing the goalkeeper play a vital role in how teams counter-attack. So as the opposition move between attacking and defending, we will see a large amount of unbalance. And by having an incredibly technical goalkeeper, we can make use of their passing range and they can quickly release forward players who can take the team beyond multiple opposition players. Another key component of the modern goalkeeper's game is we are seeing more goalkeepers be a sweeper keeper. And this is a result of teams choosing to press more often. And with this, we're seeing teams use much higher lines. This increases the distance between the defensive line and the goalkeeper. And it opens up a large amount of space that should the opposition win the ball and they can quickly attack this space, it can be quite easily exploited. This means that the goalkeeper is required to protect this area. So we're seeing goalkeepers take up much higher starting positions so that they can be used to intercept any long balls that the opposition might try to play into this area for an on-running attacker. So that's how we're seeing the role of the goalkeeper change and with that the increased demand on the technical level of goalkeepers 
and we're often seeing teams choose to recruit goalkeepers who possess high technical levels in a slight favour of their actual goalkeeping ability. As always, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, I do have a Kofi page if you'd like to support myself and the channel. Thank you to those that have already done so. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I've been Coach Reese, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.